important to me that it is 40 mm from this point O which is the intersection of HP and VP so this from this point O I need to take 40 mm so I will take this Forty mm here. So I've taken forty mm on say it comes from here. This is forty mm I've taken. Okay, so I've taken forty mm as you can see exactly, and now from that keeping the point at O, I will cut a small arc on this line. So this becomes my point of importance that is point A for which I need to mark what? I need to mark my, uh, I need to draw my projections and this is Forty-five degrees, right? Okay. So now, what next has to be done? That its projections has to be drawn on the uh, this uh, vertical plane and the horizontal plane. So for doing that, what we need to do is first of all, I need to drop the shadow of this point on the VP and HP. So I'll just draw the shadows of this point on VP and HP at M and M dash. No, sorry, M and N. So a straight perpendicular line from a here will give me a point here and a straight line from a uh, perpendicular to the horizontal line gives me a point here okay so this point is say i have taken it as m and this point say i have taken it as n right now the next part that I need to do is I need to say there are no distances given that uh, how far the distances are from uh, for the projector. So I will just draw a line which is parallel to this line exactly parallel to this line like this. Somewhere on this line my both uh, points that is M1 and N1 lie which are actually what uh, which are the uh, solution the projection that I am looking for. So for that what I will do is first for the projection I will just extend this line for M to obtain M1 I will just extend this line this way and where it intersects this is the point where it intersects so this point becomes my point which is my uh, view which is M1 which is my one of my required points and then for n now what will happen is that this plane would come in this uh, direction and get merged with this plane so i need to keep my point at o take the distance as o n o n and then draw an arc from here okay so i need draw an arc so this arc intersects this line that is a vertical line here at say n dash okay now this line will be extended in this straight it will be extended in this way to intersect this point here which is my n1 so this m1 and n1 gives me the front view and top view this uh, say this is my top view and this is my front view why the top view i'm looking from here say when i'm looking from uh, in this way where the point lead is pointing right so i look at the point n so when i have turned this paper in this direction so it will come below line x y and when i'm looking like this it is the front view which is there so m will be projected here so this is above above line xy and this is below uh, xy and this is my front view and this is my top view 
so this is the solution of question number 2a that is there and this is the projection that is required of the point that is given uh, at an as a radial distance of 40 mm from the intersection of uh, o and that is intersection of hp and vp and uh, the uh, it is at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to hp where it is this is considered to be as hp and this is considered to be as vp so this hp is then uh, turn in this direction to meet the vertical plane here so on hp we have uh, the uh, top view and on vp we have the front view so this is the solution that is required for question number 2a okay let's uh, see okay the next question uh, with this question we'll be solving after the break so uh, i'll just read out the question to you a line 80 mm long is inclined to HP by 30 degrees and inclined to VP by 45 degrees. The line is in first quadrant with point A 15 mm uh, above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Draw the projection of line AB. So this solution uh, will be uh, using the slideshow. We'll, uh, we'll just begin at uh, one, one o'clock so that uh, uh, you can have a small break and then come back. We'll be solving five, uh, four more questions after this uh, in the next uh, one hour. So be with us.